Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Um, this is the longest I believe I've been sick in my life. This is going on now, four days, and there is no stopping. There's no relief. There's nothing. I am still sick. Now, now I said this before, one of the benefits of being black and dark skinned is that uh, you can't tell when we're angry, sick, diseased or anything like that we just look sort of like perfect the entire time you know and then all of a sudden we just pass away and people are like well it looked perfect the whole time let me tell you what i've done and i don't want to i want and then i want you all to give me your web md advice so the uh my dog is running around sniffing the floor. I have there used to be some dogs in here, so it was just just the other day. Careful, careful. And so now he this is the first time of me actually putting him in this room since they left, which was a few days ago. So <clears throat> I saw Doctor. Uh, I can't can't remember. Here on YouTube, and uh, he was talking about uh, dental health, and he was saying a lot of dental health or dental diseases are actually caused because you have a lack or a deficiency in vitamin C, which I immediately said, yes, I know I have a deficiency in vitamin C because I don't eat anything uh, with vitamin C in it. So I immediately went and got juices, which I knew, no, isn't real vitamin C. It's just ascorbic acid, which is basically a man-made product that is, the term ascorbic acid is found in vitamin C. I'm saying if you took an orange and broke down vitamin C, and then you uh, looked at vitamin C, it would have a list of different components. So ascorbic acid is one of them. And the real reason that uh, they use ascorbic acid in a lot of uh, products today is because it is a preservative. has nothing to do with them trying to, to uh, make everybody healthy. It's just a preservative. So all of those juices that you see with ascorbic acid in it, and they claim 120% vitamin C, uh, I, I know it's false. Anyway, that being said, though, I, I also wanted to get some sort of a liquid because I need to consume more liquid in my life, period. I also then bought uh, bunches of oranges, about 20, and then bunches of lemon, lemons, about, about 20, and uh, bunches of limes. And so I went through the oranges, uh, everything, the stuff started... Stuff started clearing, but uh, but obviously not to not to the degree that I wanted. You know, nothing perfect, nothing nothing short of healthy, or nothing close to healthy. Uh, and then this came on. So after I started the vitamin C reg regimen, this came on, which was all of a sudden. So. I got the vitamin C's, drank the juice, and boom, sick. Uh, so I've been sick actually for quite a long time, and this is a uh, new bug or whatever, and apparently everybody in this trailer park is sick or was sick or just got sick or something like that. And so then when I when these their children came around me, they, of course... Uh, our petri dishes and they gave me everything that they had and then uh, I walked into a lady's uh, trailer which uh, is against my religion against my belief system and uh, which my belief system is <laughs> coincides with uh, and I'm simply laughing because that's that's my nature to laugh and to look happy um, and I, I can't breathe uh, this is why I'm talking like this uh, I'm breathing out of my mouth as I speak. So uh, I wanted to, I my belief system coincides with uh, legal liability and monetary liability. So I say n no going into any woman's house unmarried or whatever 
after dark. No woman can come into my house uh, from dusk on. And really, I don't like women coming into my house unaccompanied by anybody, you know, at all. I don't care how old they are. I don't care how young they are. No children at all in my house. This is all part of my belief system. So no, ch all children are forbidden from coming into my house ever, period. Unless they come from my own loins, right? Okay, so this latest iteration of sickness on top of another bug on top of another bug then it's the longest that I've ever... So it's actually been a sort of like a couple of weeks. I was going to say four days, but it's been a couple of weeks because I wasn't really being honest with myself and that I never did really recuperate from whatever I started. And this has been going on. So, uh, yesterday and today, I took a lemon and I uh, ate the lemon and I squoze the lemon juice into a cup and added pure water, added some uh, a raw honey into it, and I drank that, and that took me from uh, uh, and like that to what I am now. And what I am now is, uh, my nose is, I can't believe it's not running right now, uh, my nose is completely running, but I can't breathe out of the nose, and I'm talking out of my mouth and breathing at the same time. Uh, and that took me to stage like like if 10 were fully sick and this is like you know some sort of virus I went down to like 7 with the lemon now I don't know if this takes time but but I mean it within a few hours now normally when I get sick I'm sick for a few hours in a day and after a few hours I'm a-okay, completely healthy, or I seem completely healthy, and I go about my business, sickness over. You know, my nose runs or it gets stopped up, boom, 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 take a nap, take the, take a pill, take a, take a NyQuil or whatever, uh, and it's done. I don't use the whole bottle, I don't use, take all the tablets or whatever, all the soft gels or whatever you call it, whatever the dosage is, I take one. And that's it. This I've taken such a migraine. I've drank all this uh, ginseng and all this, all this stuff, all, all this crazy stuff. Nothing. So tell me, what's your advice? Thank you very much. Like, like the video, share the video, and give me your opinion. Thank you. That's that's the whole point of this. Give me your opinion.